Next question is from I am Sofa King Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Good yeah. job, everybody. <laughs> what are the pros and cons of having a workout partner? Uh, oh, mostly cons. Yeah. You know what though? <laughs> I can see. So okay, so a major. Think about all the years you guys have been working out. Yeah. What percentage of it would you say is with a workout partner, and what percentage of it would you say the, is on now? The very first quarter. Yeah, that's what I would say. That's, yeah. that's exactly what I'd and say. Then it was from then on out. Like yeah. no first twenty five percent of my lifting. You know what's funny yeah. is I bet you most people who've been training consistently for more than let's say seven or eight years probably follow something similar. Like in the beginning, they probably worked out with a workout partner, and then eventually. You know, went off on. The you know, I wanna, I'm the same way. I want to believe that, but I, I, I found in the bodybuilding community, it's not bodybuilding community. Everybody loves to work out together, man. They, it's like they have a workout partner and they're about it, man. They, they, they meet up. Each really? Other. Yeah. At, at least in the now, is it mostly for pre contest or is it off season? All, all, the, time? all the time. Yeah, really? all the time. They all like it's to lift the together. Commiserating thing or. You're pushing each other because it's all about other. intensity driven. Oh, that's so true. it's real, and it's actually as much in off season as it is in season. In off season, there it's all about packing the calories on, packing on the muscle, and you use each other to pump each other up and and I'll get after. I'll tell it. you the pros and cons yeah. for me personally. So pros, it first off, depends on the workout partner. But if I work out with the right workout partner, it'll help me stay on track and stay away from my ego because sometimes my ego makes me do exercises that I probably shouldn't at that moment. I should Did you just do. say that the workout partner helps you not? If I get the right workout partner. <laughs> so if I get the wrong workout partner, it'll do the opposite. Like if I work out with uh, somebody like myself, then my risk of injury just goes to the roof because now it's about yeah that's what I've always experienced. I was going to say I would, I'm going I'm to challenge your way of yeah. thinking there because I think we're all I would consider all of us uh, you know a plus workout partners. Like I know how to spot. No, 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 no. I, no. I know. Uh, no, I none of us are good workout partners for each other. <laughs> Not for each other. Not for each other. Well, then who are you gonna get? Uh, well, some uh, docile dude who doesn't know what no, the fuck he's doing. No. Like, what's your idea of what an A plus fucking workout partner? My is? wife was a great one when her and I worked out together, and mainly because there's no competition there. She's not gonna lift as much as me anyway. We can check each other, and I have smarter workouts. If I work out with one of you knuckleheads, yeah. I guarantee within a few weeks it's gonna turn into without us realizing it. The intensity is going to creep up. The weight's going to creep up, and it's it'll be fun, but then it, somebody's going to you know get hurt. So the pros are if you have a good partner, they can check you, watch your form, help you push yourself when you need to. Might be more motivating for some people. The cons are you have to rely on the other person's consistency and attitude and energy. And I take my workout so seriously that if a workout partner shows up and their mood is down by two degrees, I don't want to talk to you ever again. I don't want to work out with you ever again. Like we're, You show up five minutes late, I'm on my own, go do your own thing type of deal. So that's the cons is, is I have to rely on someone else. The pros are if you get a good partner, they can make you work out better. Yeah, I, I'm going to stick with my original statement that it's mostly cons. Uh, the only pro uh, that I think is there's some value there when you're first starting. When you're first starting mm -hmm. out, and it, purely I see it as not uh, not anything that you're talking about, but just the commitment to get to the gym. I've made a commitment to somebody else that I meet them on Monday, yeah. Wednesday, Friday at 6 a.m., Therefore, I'm more likely for a lot to, of people. It's like that. Yeah, I'm more likely to yeah. show up to the gym, and there's a lot of value in the the commitment aspect. But as far as the training itself, I personally think it's almost impossible to work out with another person, just because we are all so unique. We're all there. We're so that everybody, everybody's bodies need something so individualized. Even if your goal is the same, both of us are meathead guys. We both want to build a bunch of muscle, but it's like my body type is so different than any, either one of your guys' body types. And my weaknesses are totally different than your weaknesses yeah. and my imbalances and my freaking issues that I got going on totally different than you guys. And yeah. so my programming should be really designed around what area, what weak areas do I need to address to prime myself correctly before I go into my workout? How was my sleep the night before, my food, uh, what I did previously in the workout? That should dictate my yeah. intensity and volume that I go into that workout. All those variables matter so much more than what is my workout partner want to do. It's also because you take your workout so seriously that you don't want to compromise for the other person to do the back and forth because well, you know what you need to do. Well, right? that's what I do if I train with like my girl or somebody. Like If I train with somebody else, I do end up compromising for for them so because oh, yeah. I want to give them a good experience sure. and a good workout. So what I end up doing is not what I probably should do for myself. Yeah. That's why I say it's mostly cons 
because most of it is centered around the hype, the motivation, the get there, to get yeah. to the gym, to push through, and those are all the wrong reasons yeah, to be going. I think going. We're, we're terrible people to ask this question. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be honest because I, I feel like we just – we know too much. Uh, when you get to a certain point where um, you know yourself oh, like the best, you mm -hmm. know uh, how everything works. Like it, any partner you bring in, you're going to be compromising your time. Like you're going to yep. have to explain things. It's a pain in the ass. Like if you're in the same sort of uh, mentality as somebody else that's kind of just trying to figure it out, I think it's beneficial in that environment uh, just in, in, for accountability. I think maybe if that's like your, your biggest thing, right? For sure. Like I can't get to the gym. I just need somebody that's going to be there and hold me accountable. It's consistent. Um, if, if you're somebody in that state of mind where you're reliant on that, like I find value in that. But, uh, for me personally, the only way I would have a workout partner at this point, uh, would be if I'm just learning a very new skill and for a brief moment of and time, they know it, agree. they, they yeah. know it. And that's I'm it. like, I'm just that's picking such it a, apart. Totally that's, agree. Such a, that's such an anomaly though, right there. That's a, like, I mean, that's a one-off situation. And I guarantee there's people right now. Okay, there's somebody right now that is shaking their head no, and they're like, and you know what they're saying? I get my best workouts when I work out with my workout partner. And Steve really pushes and, me. And you know that's the problem with it is that you still measure the success of your workout by how fucking hard you lift, yeah. and that is not a good gauge of what makes a good workout. Again, we know a too good much, a dude, good training session is should be measured for what you need at that specific moment in time. And the the idea that we, and and by the way, I know this because I was the same way. I was the same young kid who thought like, man, I my workouts are never as good as, as they are unless I have my workout partner. Because why? Because he pushed me that next yeah. level. When I wanted to stop at rep five, and you know what? If someone tried to push me through a workout right now, I'd fucking slap them. Throw like, weight like, at don't, tell, <laughs> don't tell me where I need, if I need to push more or not right now. I know what I need to do. So that's the last thing that I would yeah. want. But the people that are shaking their head at me that disagree with what we're saying right now are people that are still stuck in that mindset that it's all about intensity. I, I think some look. I think for some people, yeah. there's a lot of value because they they their workout partners like it's like a partner and they work out together and they grow together and they do a lot of stuff. I get that, but the the, the key is finding the right workout partner. For me, I hated it most of the time because I was always. The consistent one, the motivated one. So it's like I was always the damn teacher, right? Exactly. What you said was absolutely hundred percent, Justin. If I worked out with anyone now, and I picked a workout partner, it's because I want to learn something. Like if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna go through a whole mobility stint, or I'm gonna do a bunch of you know non traditional workouts, I'll I'll ask Justin. Hey, Justin, can I do a sled and a kettlebell workout with you? Because he's good at it, and I'm gonna learn from him. But otherwise, uh, I mean, not really. But in the past, in the past, I mean, I've had a, a few good workout partners. I, I think I it's always one sided. It's never yeah. equal. Usually, right? It, yeah. Always. But if you're in that situation, the guy who's teaching you, you are making I'm the out. Guy that, right. He's yeah. get, he's getting the shit in the stick. Yeah. If you're listening to this right now and you're you have a trainer friend who you work out with, well, yeah, guess what? You get you are. That's a good idea yeah. for you to Buy keep him that, a nice Christmas yeah, present. Yeah. <laughs> keep that workout partner because your workouts are probably better because yeah. yeah. you have a professional that's working out with you. But guess what? His is probably suffering. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody is saying, someone's getting well, the shit in the and stick. All, and here's the other thing. Now, as I've done this for so long, now my workouts are so meditative and, you know, for lack of a better term, spiritual experience for me. I go in there, I shut off, I do my thing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to somebody else or be worried about, oh, it's your turn or take the weight off or change this. I'm doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. I'm in my own space, not talking to anybody unless I choose to. If I have a workout partner there, it's like, I, oh, okay, I got to go, you know, got to do yeah. my thing, got to talk to them. So it'd have to be really somebody special to work out with. Like, we like do working out around you guys, just not like with. Dude, I you. tell you, listen, I say, okay, I say we're all terrible workout partners for each other because of whatever. We've all worked out at the same time many times. We never, I think we've only worked out together like at three times. Yeah, like less, seven than, years. less than a handful for sure. Yeah, but yeah. but we're usually working out at the same time. Yeah, and that, I think that's great. So, and that's where I'm like, there is there is a way to, the thing that I thought was the only real pro is the whole meeting there. So, hey, I'm all for having a person to help commit you to And then to after you're done, get a, get a yeah. meal you or meet something. Each, yeah, yeah. Like, like, hey, I'll meet you at the gym, holding each other accountable, and then you guys do your thing, and then you meet back. There. And maybe some days you both happen to be like, oh, it's a light, easy day. Yeah. I'm not going to train really hard. Oh, me too. Or I one exercise. Get, hey, yeah. let me jump oh, Yeah, I'm, I'm hitting those all gym. Yeah, that's whatever, cool. Like, but... I mean, And that's actually how Katrina and I work out that way. So Katrina and I, if we train at the gym together, we do not train together. It's like 
she has things that she knows that she needs to accomplish. She's normally running one of the maps programs. I have my my handful of things that I want to accomplish. Yep. Now sometimes they intersect. Sometimes oh you're squatting on today. Oh I'm squatting too. We'll go share the the rack together and we'll work out. That's our working out together. Yeah. But it's not me pushing the and trying her intensity or her yeah. motivating me to do whatever or telling me let's go here. It's like I just don't see a lot of value in it unless you're pretty pretty new. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.